if you're trying to rush things in a relationship, that shows fear. When you operate in fear, you often will want to rush. So you love bomb or you are anxious about getting responses in a timely manner or you're pushing to try and move the connection forward when actually all of that is action out of fear. And when you act out of fear, you end up ruining the very thing that you actually want. So our fears are our boundaries and our barriers that we put up to protect ourselves because it's scary to be vulnerable enough and open enough to actually allow and receive the very thing that we want for ourselves. It takes more bravery to slow things down and to be patient enough and serene enough to allow the timing to unfold things in the, in the way that it needs to for things to blossom. For example, if you don't like someone as much, be brave enough or overcome the fear of just saying how you feel and being honest about that. That is a micro training to help you recognize where you feel afraid. And so be brave enough to say, hey, I don't feel the same way about you. And that is more respectful and more kind to a person than just ghosting or my favorite blocking. So if you're such a coward that you just ghost and block people without any explanation, without any real reason for that to happen, simply because you're not brave enough to actually say what it is that you're feeling, then how are you ever going to have a connection with someone with the thing that the very thing that you do want if you can't even be brave enough to say what you don't want? So choose something every day that scares you emotionally just a little bit so that you get in the practice of being able to step into that and speak your boundaries on all directions so that you can be clear and aware of when you may be getting in your own way for the very things that you probably do want.